<clears throat> so when I mean, so do you go by Chick? Is that your the name of the article, or do you go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was born with a yellow fuzzy head. <laughs> There's the chick I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and <laughs> so the, the uh, you've been doing this a long time. So when did you officially start? It was like '98 or something like that. Three years ago. Yeah, about the same time. Ago. I think my paper's 26 years now. So, mm -hmm. so it was right after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, how did it morph since then? Or how did you start? What did you do that got you started with the, with the kayaks? Yeah, um, I always wanted to be Julie from the Love Boat. I wanted to be a crazy <laughs> right there and get you know people ha enjoying themselves. And I was bartending at Lola's at night, and I had two kayaks. So I would convince customers to do like a one on one with me the next day, and then I would buy a second kayak and a third kayak. Wow! Now I have over 180 pieces of equipment. Holy shit! See now, I'm learning stuff with this new style because I you know. I don't trust anybody else to do it. So, and, and you would think that I know everything about it, but this is the third place I've been to. I had no idea that's how you started. Um, and in the winters, I would go to different countries and work for like Paddle Asia or um, Cape Breton, and I went to San Francisco, and I would do instructor training and then go to those places in the winter and train instructors and sword. work for other businesses and then come home and do my Wow. So you're like legit, like world kayak expert <laughs> who knew <laughs> I just thought you were a fun person that rented <laughs> stuff on the beach <laughs> um, so when did you start adding all the other things into it because the kayaking you know you, you did like you've always done that but then when did you start adding um, paddle boards and paddle boards and the first year we had them nobody rented them I had like out there and it was like 75 bucks for the week just take it like <laughs> yeah but Eventually, they got bigger than kayaks. Yeah. And now they're back down, and the kayaks are back up. Really? What do you What do you attribute that to? It was a big. Everyone wanted to do Bad. it. It was new. Yeah. It was like cool. rollerblades. Yeah. Remember I had the exactly. rollerblades. But this year we have motors in our paddle boards, so. We're... Oh, so you're hoping that'll bring it back? Well, I think it's going to open it up to a lot of people who were too nervous to do it in the first place. Yeah. And you know who were worried about upper body strength or balance and the new boards we have are very stable and we could just hit a button to go so the whole point is just getting out on the water and being yeah i think i even i could do that one anybody can lay down <laughs> hit a button i say that now and i thought you'd have to come rescue me again yeah um so the the um so with the electric paddle boards do you stand or sit on them you, you stand? Not. Yeah, you start kneeling, and then you stand up and you feel comfortable. And they have a little electric propeller underneath them? Are they... it, it actually has a tube that goes through the board, and it has yeah. a propeller, and the engine is built into it, and then there's a Bluetooth-connected device on the paddle. It's just like an up-and-down button. And we've had tons of sand sharks the last few days. There's oh, no 15 kidding. of them here this morning. Big ones? So, yeah, they're big, but they don't have teeth. Like, no, I know, but I, yeah. I, I caught one off the Dyke Bridge when I was a kid. Six foot. So exciting. With a with a you know those uh those tic tac toe lines with the the green line it's like a uh, the drop lines and, yeah. you, and you wrap it around the yeah. like the tic tac toe oh, thing oh yeah yeah and I was fishing off Dyke Bridge with that you know like just I was like you seven you know a six foot sand shark and they, I remember because they they uh you know, it took all these guys to help me pull it in and then they they like cut it I didn't realize the shark had a tongue you know because he had swallowed it and they they like ripped it out it was like. Ew. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. Is he okay? I don't remember that part. I don't know if he was yeah. all right because he was, you know, there was a lot of. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little traumatizing for for my <laughs> age. That's why I don't <laughs> fish probably. Deal. I don't. I don't. I don't never fish since then. Oh. Well, they're fun to see, especially with the LED lights at night. So. Yeah. It's been cool. They're just swimming circles underneath you. And they look like sharks. They which look freak like you sharks. Out. And yeah. People are like, ah, oh, it's awesome. Was that what was what we saw when we were here last time? I think yeah. And you just didn't say anything and let us freak out? <laughs> I did say something. Oh, yeah, I was like, come look. Yeah, but you didn't you say it was a harmless. Har you didn't say it was harmless. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> why, would I, why would I ruin the fun? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> well, people can go home and they have a story. They're like, I battled over a shark. It was swimming around me. Like, you don't say it's really a dogfish and has no teeth. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, that's exactly what we did too. We were talking about that forever. Exactly. I think Whoa. we're still talking about it. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So what else have you done? And capsizing. Whenever people go in the water, it's like your biggest fear. But like sometimes the people who are the most scared of it, that's who you push in. And then they realize that they can get back in. And they're like, oh, wait, what am I scared of? Yeah. And then they have a story to tell for the rest of the winter because they got capsized in a kayak. And then they're not scared of it. And then you're willing to push your boundaries and paddle more effectively because you're not like tensed up. Let's see. I just still don't See, think I was trying I could, to help you. I still don't think I could do it, but <laughs> it doesn't work with all people. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, for, most of them. For me, it's because I have the bad back, so I can't like like I have to be like all the way forward in order to, or my back just doesn't work. Yeah. You know, like so if I'm back like this, I'm like all out of sorts. You know, it's like yeah. I have a disintegrated disc. So my dad's the same way, and he can paddle a canoe fine, but not a kayak for some reason. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I wonder if you're the same. It feels Probably like is. you might be the same way. Because it's different. I'm not yeah. leaning back. I know. I've always wanted to because I've, I've seen people on kayaks. I'm like, it looks so peaceful and awesome, you know, but I get in it. I'm like an in instant pain. Let's try again with a jump. I have a super stable single over there. You do? Yeah. It has a 450 weight pound capacity. Like, this one is like a triple kayak. It's for fishing. So you yeah. can put all your gear and stuff in yeah, there. Yeah. So it's like this big, roomy kayak. So you'll stable. feel comfortable in all it. All right. I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try it again. Yeah. In my spare time. At three o'clock. At three o'clock. <laughs> Be ready to go in. Maybe. You're not going we'll to come to a kayak I, company and tell me you want all this interactive fun and then not go out. Yeah, but like, you know what? I'm not the interactive part. You know, like <laughs> nobody wants to see. Yes, you see, are. Nobody wants to yes, see me. Yes, do. Would you like a seltzer? Um, oh, sure. Thanks. Of course you do. Does um, that guy can go. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what else? What else have you done? Or, and, I mean, we know about the Grotta. That's a whole different thing. Um, well, we're super involved with um, the beach cleanup. So we, you know, sponsor people to pick up the beach every day. And, you know, oh, you like yours? We're part of yeah. Friends City oh, Tackett. Yeah. We did the Carry and Carry Home program. And um, we're doing a fun event with Blue Dot. And we're doing a whole sustainable adventure tourism. Did I tell you this yesterday? No. Yeah tourism piece about how like you can like a, a zero footprint like kayaking and wooden kayaks to Cuddy Hunk and then oh, they nice. go eat oysters and so it's like oh nice like, a helpful footprint so they're gonna do an article on that or okay yeah, so I probably shouldn't mention that because they'd get pissed okay. well I just the whole environmental <laughs> side of it like that's what we're right 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 about, like, yeah yeah no I mean that's and that's adventure tourism with a responsible yeah and did you learn that from from the from your time traveling the world, or is that just do it? You know, like doing with other companies. Yeah, just a passion for you. you know? Or is it just like your own personal <laughs> thing? But it's it's throughout the company, and everyone's a part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like we don't sell water; we we give away free water, and you can buy a cup, or you can just refill. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Gonna, we don't post consumer packaging. Like yeah. We try to keep the beach clean. What do you think of that about that? Uh, the 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 water, uh, the plastic ban for water bottles. Oh yeah. But don't you think that that since they have the bigger bottles, that people are going to buy the bigger bottles and waste more of plastic? I'm, I'm and water. This is so create the problem, right? And so now people can come up with solutions. You're right. That all of those things are a problem. But yeah. you know what these businesses should do? They should get these huge, yeah, like no, I agree. refillable stations with prime and gatorade and everyone can just buy reusable bottles wherever they go or they charge less because for a company anyway the expense is the cup and exactly. they're going to the make packaging. more money if they just sell bottles or have people in it so like make that the new norm and have free water available everywhere like they do in all of the european countries and not only that in france you have water and seltzer water available free to anybody who wants it in the streets they feel like the homeless people should have access to free clean water right you know so and they why should. don't we do that everywhere here i don't know that's what we should uh, you do. know why money. make it easy it's, i get it's but of money. financially incentivize it you're right if, yeah. if the businesses don't have a reason to make money I'll they won't. sorry i gotta get this no problem island spirit kayak this is chip